Around 66 million years ago, Earth was home to creatures that today seem almost like a legend, dinosaurs. These huge, wild animals ruled both the land and the skies. They lived everywhere, even in frozen places like Antarctica. But then, a small event changed everything, a rock traveling at 20 kilometers per second slammed into Earth, and the age of dinosaurs came to an end. Scientists say the force of this impact was as strong as 10 billion atomic bombs, similar to the ones dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. Even though the rock was only about 10 to 15 kilometers wide, the blast it caused wiped out over 75% of all living things. Any creature heavier than 25 kilos couldn't survive, and that included the dinosaurs. In today's video, we'll explore the full story of dinosaurs, from how they appeared to how they disappeared. I'll also share some surprising facts you may have never heard before, so, like always, this video is going to be really exciting, make sure to watch it till the end. Let's begin with the real story of dinosaurs. It started in 1819. Why 1819? because that's when the first dinosaur fossil was found. Before that, nobody knew that creatures like dinosaurs had ever lived on Earth. In 1819, a geologist named William Buckland was studying rocks in England. While working, he came across some strange bones, bones unlike anything seen before. At first, Buckland didn't understand what these bones were. He studied them for five years and finally realized they belonged to a reptile that lived millions of years ago. It took him so long because back then, there was no knowledge about dinosaurs, this was the very first proper study of dinosaur bones. He found the bones in 1819 and officially named the creature in 1824, Megalosaurus. This was the first time a dinosaur got a formal name ending with Saurus. You might have noticed that most dinosaur names end with Saurus, like Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus rex. Let me explain why. The word dinosaur comes from two Greek words. Dino means terrible, Saurus means lizard, so, dinosaur actually means terrible lizard. This name was given in 1842 by a British scientist named Sir Richard Owen. When Owen studied many fossils, he thought these were giant reptiles that once walked the earth. Because they looked like huge lizards, he decided to call them dinosaurs, terrible lizards. In simple words, Richard Owen made one big group, an umbrella term, where all these giant reptiles could fit under one name, dinosaurs. Now, back to our story. As I said, William Buckland made the first official discovery of dinosaur bones. But were dinosaur bones found before him? Yes, they were. Thousands of years ago, people came across dinosaur bones, but since they didn't know what they were, they linked them to their myths and legends. For example, about 2000 years ago, people in China found dinosaur bones. They believed these were dragon bones. Other cultures thought the bones belonged to monsters, thunderbirds, or griffins, creatures that only existed in old stories and beliefs. As time went on, science started to replace myths. In 1677, a man named Robert Plot found a dinosaur bone. But he didn't know about dinosaurs either. He thought it was the bone of a giant human. Later, scientists discovered it was actually the thigh bone of a megalosaurus dinosaur. Over time, knowledge grew, and people started to understand dinosaurs better. Today, we know a lot more, scientists have found thousands of dinosaur species. In fact, around 20 to 30 new dinosaur fossils are found every year, and many more are still waiting to be discovered. Alright, that was the discovery part. Now let's talk about the life of dinosaurs. How they were born and what caused their extinction. Dinosaurs first appeared about 252 million years ago. This time is known as the Mesozoic Era, often called the Age of Dinosaurs. The Mesozoic Era lasted from 252 million years ago to 66 million years ago, around 186 million years in total. This era is divided into three periods. Triassic period, Jurassic period, Cretaceous period. Let's quickly go over these periods. During the Triassic period, dinosaurs first started to appear. This period began 252 million years ago. Before dinosaurs, many other types of animals lived on Earth. But then came the greatest extinction event in Earth's history, called the Permian-Triassic extinction. In this disaster, 96% of sea creatures and 70% of land animals vanished. It happened because of massive volcanic eruptions that released huge amounts of lava and carbon dioxide into the air. This made the Earth extremely hot and difficult for most living things to survive. However, dinosaurs managed to survive and evolve because they could handle hot climates. 
Dinosaurs evolved from a reptile called Archosaurus, a crocodile-like animal. Archosaurs walked on four legs, but dinosaurs started walking on two. Also, unlike archosaurs whose legs stuck out to the sides, dinosaurs' legs were right under their bodies, making them faster and stronger. These changes slowly shaped dinosaurs into the creatures we know today. At that time, all the continents were joined together into one supercontinent called Pangaea. Dinosaurs spread all across this giant land. Jurassic Period After the Triassic Period came the Jurassic Period, about 201 million years ago. During this time, dinosaurs became bigger and stronger. In the Jurassic Period, the Earth's weather was warm and moist. Plants grew everywhere. Because there was so much food, plant-eating dinosaurs grew into giants, like Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus. You may have seen Brachiosaurus in movies. It's that huge dinosaur with a long neck that could reach the tops of trees to eat leaves. Around this time, meat-eating dinosaurs also got bigger. Allosaurus was one of the top hunters. It had sharp teeth, strong legs, and small arms, a little bit like T-Rex, but not quite as famous. Another exciting thing happened in the Jurassic period, the first birds appeared. Yes, birds are actually modern dinosaurs. The earliest bird we know of is Archaeopteryx. It had feathers like birds today, but it also had teeth and claws like reptiles. This shows that over time, some dinosaurs started to fly and slowly turned into birds. During the Jurassic period, Pangaea, the supercontinent, started to break into smaller continents. This allowed dinosaurs to spread into new places and evolve into even more types. Cretaceous period. Next came the Cretaceous period, from about 145 to 66 million years ago. By now, dinosaurs had spread all over the world. There were many different shapes and sizes, from small, chicken-sized dinosaurs to massive ones as long as a basketball court. In this period, famous dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, and Velociraptor appeared. T-Rex was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs ever. It had a bite so powerful it could crush bones easily. Triceratops had three big horns and a strong shield on its head. It used them to fight off predators. Velociraptor was smaller than shown in movies like Jurassic Park. It was about the size of a turkey, but very smart, fast, and deadly. Another important thing happened during the Cretaceous period, flowering plants appeared. Before that, there were only plants like ferns and conifers. But now, plants with flowers and fruits began to grow, giving dinosaurs new types of food. Life was booming. The earth was full of colorful plants and amazing animals. But near the end of the Cretaceous period, trouble started. Massive volcanic eruptions in a place that is now India caused huge problems. These eruptions sent lots of ash and gases into the air, making Earth's climate unstable. Still, dinosaurs managed to survive, until a final disaster ended their rule. The end of dinosaurs. 66 million years ago, a giant asteroid, about 10 to 15 kilometers wide, hit what is now Mexico. The crash was so powerful that it caused fires, earthquakes, and giant waves called tsunamis. Dust and smoke filled the air and blocked sunlight for months. Without sunlight, plants couldn't grow. Without plants, plant-eating dinosaurs starved. And without plant-eaters, meat-eaters also died. In just a short time, about 75% of all animals and plants were gone. This was the event that ended the dinosaurs' time on Earth. But guess what? Not all dinosaurs were wiped out. Some small, feathered ones made it through, and over millions of years, they turned into birds. Yep, those pigeons, sparrows, and crows you see today? They're actually living, breathing dinosaurs. That's why scientists often say, dinosaurs never really went extinct, they just got smaller and grew feathers. And that's the wild story of dinosaurs. From their first steps to their final days. If you had fun learning today, make sure to thumbs up smash that like button, repeat button share this video with your friends, bell hit subscribe so you never miss more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one, stay curious.